This drone is delivering COVID-19 supplies to a nearby hospital. Seeing the first flight was exhilarating. The drones will carry about four pounds of personal protective equipment and fly up to 30 miles round trip. Airspace is clear. Previously, the FAA only allowed drone deliveries within two miles. To be standing in one of our major hospitals and see a drone drop exactly where it was planned to drop, PPE, and watching our public safety officer pick it up and carry it in, that was very satisfying. Novant Health is a network of 700 locations, including 15 hospitals. During the pandemic, the group is rethinking how to distribute medical supplies. Everyone here has heard about the PPE challenges. We are fortunate in that we have a good supply, but one of the things we'd like to do is be able to deploy that PPE when it's needed in a more surgical fashion. We can do that through drone-based delivery. To make drone deliveries a reality, Novant partnered with Zipline, a California drone delivery company that's been operating in Africa for years. We operate serving about 25 million people in East and West Africa. We deliver 160 different medical products to hospitals and health facilities on demand using drones. Today, Zipline delivers around 75% of the national blood supply of Rwanda. We've been working with Zipline for over a year, putting our toe in the water related to drone-based delivery of PPE, clinical supplies, et cetera. When the crisis started, we were able to very quickly pivot and accelerate some of the work. The goal is to efficiently distribute medical supplies like masks and vaccines across Novant's network of hospitals and clinics. But the company says that goal is still a long way away. For now, the FAA's approval is only temporary, and the drones are currently serving just two of Novant's hospitals in North Carolina. It's really exciting because I think we're going to have flights going farther um, and over people much more than the FAA has been willing to allow in the past. These drones may provide a peek into what the future of health care could look like and how hospitals might react to pandemics in the future. Once I think the FAA sees that this can be done safely, can be done without any incident, without any harm to people or property on the ground, I think they're going to be more willing to open up other types of, of delivery. We're going to learn a lot about uh, public appetite for drone-based delivery, the significance of the impact it can make on our operations, and the, the speed of on-demand delivery of critical supplies, and that impact on the health of our uh, patient population. Hospitals are looking for ways of extending the reach of the healthcare system, delivering the products that those patients need at home, as opposed to needing to travel to get it. So this is one really big way that autonomous delivery can be incredibly helpful in this time.